Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Erickson TV. Curtis here with Lauren. Hello, Lauren. Hey, Curtis. Hey, everybody. So, Lauren, I understand we're going to go back to school and review a little bit about uh, <laughs> rebalancing today. Same uh, thing we always talk yeah, about over a, and over again. It is extremely important. It is extremely <laughs> important. And the reason we talk about the same thing over and over again is because investors make the same mistake over and over again. So I just looked up uh, so far this year returns. And uh, if all the markets do nothing else by the end of the year, I'll be pretty happy. So far, I mean, this depends on, on exactly how your strategy is working, but so far US stocks have been made about 20 or 25 percent. That's a huge return. So that's for, a range of probably the large stocks versus the small yeah, stocks. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, and uh, so far, international stocks, it's a little bit more all over the place, but they've made somewhere 9, 10 percent or so. Okay. Uh, bonds, on the other hand, have lost a little bit of money this year. Even the, even the short-term bonds have lost about 1%, which is no big deal. If you uh, jumped on the long-term bond bandwagon, maybe you lost more like 7 or 8%. Okay, so why am I bringing all this up? Okay, it's the same thing that it always is. This, the asset classes that have had the best returns this year have been precisely those asset classes that everybody was fleeing from right. previously. Right. The asset yeah. classes that have had the worst returns are precisely those asset classes that everybody was pouring their money into. Right. And now that those returns have shown up, now everybody is doing the reverse right. behavior. They're going into the hot houses. Right, yeah, exactly. Folks, this is the exact opposite of what you should be doing. If by the end of the year, bonds have had a bad return like they have so far, we won't give a number, we'll just say it's bad. If foreign stocks have had a mediocre return, and if U.S. stocks have had a great return, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to rebalance. You're supposed to sell what did well, not all of it, right. but sell a little bit of what did well, buy a little bit of what did poorly, put your portfolio back into its original form. If it was originally whatever percentages it was, you go back to those percentages, and generally speaking, that means moving a little bit away from what did well and moving a little bit into what did poorly. This is how you avoid doing what in the real world is the biggest mistake that investors make and what costs most regular retail investors the most, which is their poor behavior. Right. They keep buying high and selling low. Right. And the takeaway from that also is uh, it's a disciplined way to actually uh, invest while things are cheaper. Right. And sell some part of your portfolio while it's higher. Higher, uh -huh. yes. You essentially, you sell higher and you buy lower. And you know, you gotta tell yourself whatever story you need to tell yourself to make this rebalancing happen. You know, if the story you need to tell yourself is, oh good, I'm buying cheap, then tell that story. If the story you need to tell yourself is I need to stay disciplined and stick with my plan, then tell yourself that story. Whatever it is you need to tell yourself to uh, stay on course, tell yourself that. Because like I said, in the real world, most people are not investing with Bernie Madoff. Right. Most people are not investing in really crazy, weird things. In the real world, it's much simpler than that. Right. People are just buying high and selling low. That's why they don't make the returns that they should make in mutual funds. Right. And then to, to finish off this episode, uh, we know we've talked about this, the behavior of investors is many people fleed the market five years ago and never got back in. Right. So what about the person that maybe said, okay, I, I'm feeling better, a, little, a lot better because I see the market's coming back. I have new money. I'm starting in my investment platform right now. For right. Fresh money. You, uh, what, how, would, how should they invest with, between these three asset classes? They have to decide what their risk tolerance is and they have to decide what kind of risk that they can afford to take and that they can stand to take to design the portfolio based on that, based on long-term history, not based on the last six months or last year. Right. Set up the portfolio that way and then stick with it. Right. Don't worry about trying to figure out when should I do this or when should I do that or when should I move into this or when should I move into that. Once you've figured out what your plan is, put the plan in place and then stay the course. And, for, and to finish this off, for those of you that are bewildered by what we just talked about, please <laughs> contact Lauren or myself and we'll be happy to help you. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Erickson TV. Bye. See you next time.